Hello guys and welcome to another Unity tutorial. In this tutorial, I will try to rectify issues that people are having with MonoDevelop and IntelliSense not working in 2018 and 2019. Personally, I never had any issues with IntelliSense or other complete not working in 2018, but when I moved to 2019, that's when I realized that MonoDevelop wasn't actually working. Um, some of the add-ins will not even load and I was having issues. So I have actively been trying to find a solution for this for a couple of weeks. And yesterday I was at my last stretch. So I just had the time and I said, you know what? It's time to build everything from the source code. So it took about eight, nine hours to at least get portions of it working and create an executable that can accurately load, right? Unfortunately, some of the features of the IDE don't work, especially for F sharp support. The reason is because when I was compiling the source code using Visual Studio 2017, some of the libraries or the namespaces will not load. I think it's a configuration issue, which I'm still trying to fix. But if you're just trying to use Unity and C Sharp, uh, this should be good. You should be able to get autocomplete and intelligent support. All right. So the first thing is that if you want to go ahead and start, you know, maybe create a region, you hit the pound button you will get all the options available. If you want to go ahead and create a keyword like private, you will get suggestions. If you want to go ahead and create things like a rigid body 2D, array cast, rect, you will get that as well. So a lot of the features are working so far. If you want to go ahead and use features with, let's say the burst compiler, let's say using, and you want to use the editor, so Unity, and you want to go ahead and try burst, you can see that that actually shows up and you can hit that as well. So a lot of the new features are working, right? Uh, if you want to go ahead and use a function, you want to see what that function takes. Let's say you want to use something in the random class and you, want to, you can see that we get all the functions and members of that class. Let's say you want to create a random color here. You can click on that. The moment we go ahead and look at the function definition, we can actually see exactly what this uh, function can take and what we need to go ahead and pass in. So a lot of the features are working, but like I said, a lot of the features are working for C Sharp only. And since this is a Unity tutorial that only uses C Sharp, I'm not worried about F Sharp not working or some other components of the IDE. However, my goal is to get enough feedback from you guys to make sure that I get all the features working. Obviously, I'm not done working on the solution. The reason why I'm posting this up is because at least it's a working solution. And I love using one develop to actually build my uh, Unity projects with because it's fast and IntelliSense actually works a lot better here than it does with Visual Studio. All right. So I'm going to go back and we're going to go ahead and see how to set this up. So the first thing to do is to go under the editor. Most people know how to do this. Go to preferences and go to the external tools. So I'm going to go ahead and provide the package, which is going to be a compressed ref file. So once you open that up, put that somewhere safe in your um, C drive, D drive, wherever you want, and then go ahead and, and pick it. So I have this inside. It's going to be inside of a Mono develop folder. And if you go into main and go into build, go into bin and scroll down, you will see the Mono develop exe. Just open that up and you're good to go. Also, and if you go here and let's go ahead and go to the about, you will see that this is running uh, version 8.1 preview. I don't even know what that is, but it should have support for 2019. And if you go on the details, you can see that um, you do need to have the uh, GTK plus the current version install, which you can get from the website. You need to actually have the framework, the .NET framework. Um, and if you also need the .NET Core as well, right? If you need any SDKs, you can have that installed. Obviously, this is the reason I have so many installed was because, like I said, I've been looking for a solution for this for about two weeks now, and I just barely found a working solution yesterday. All right. So uh, make sure that you guys actually give me some feedback so I know what's not working and what's working so that I can go ahead and try to build uh, the solution with all the full features, right? And if you guys can actually help me to get this working and you guys know how to, you know, work around things, um, I'm always down and going to listen to what you guys have. 
so that I can try to support this for as long as I can.